Season 45, War Number 6, and today my team is my Ascended Kitty, my Ascended Tigra, and my Sakura Ages for Decay. And so this is a really fun war because my two ascensions both happen to be cat themed, and they both happen to be really really good for the paths and the mini bosses I'm taking today. Starting off with this Atuma on path 7. This guy does have recoils, but it was the only recoil matchup that I found in this war. And so, this fight's gonna go really fast, but, you know, Kitty versus Atuma on path 7, it's, 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 it's a total joke fight. And even with, uh, with the Tigress energy, I mean, it just makes it even easier, just because that unblockable just makes you able to get your openings when the opponent doesn't play aggressive. And even if he wasn't running recoils, that SP2 kills him. You know, we've got a... A, a very beefy kitty pride taking down that Atuma uh, because the ascension makes her hit much harder obviously. And I was taking a screenshot there just to send to my battle group that that player was running recoils just so they'd be aware of it for other fights. And uh, for this Dragon Man, this is one of those fights where I like to point out how Masakure is one of the most unique champions in the game being the fact that you can do a full rotation uh, a full perfect rotation without having to ever knock the opponent down. Pretty much every champ in this game, their game plan is to knock down the opponent with a special attack or their heavy attack, and Masakura just doesn't have to do that. You can play him perfectly normally with just never knocking the opponent down, because this node says that I place an armor break on the opponent if I knock them down, and if you armor break Dragon Man, he degens you. But we can do a perfect matchup without ever having to do that, just like that. He's one of the few champs in the game who can uh, make a perfect rotation out of that style of gameplay, and it feels really good in a lot of matches. So, now Ascended Tigra. Ascended Tigra takes this I-Doom here on path 1. This is a really easy fight because I know how to Tigra I-Doom really well. I'm going to make a big error that is going to cause me to lose a lot of health, but we're going to be okay. And that was the big error! Normally, when I do a heavy attack, I dash in right afterwards to just stay aggressive. But um, in Alliance War, that's definitely not the place in the game to do that. Like, I'll do that in Battlegrounds for speed purposes. But here, I should not have done that. I should have used my better judgment to not go for a risky intercept like that. And just play it normally. I lost 60% health, or er, 40% health. Which is unfortunate, but you know, it's it's just potions. We didn't give a death at least, so that's that's definitely on the bright side. So next up is also Tigra versus this Nova, and this Nova is pretty easy for her. It's just a uh, a weird fight, just because sometimes Nova's spacing on the heavy counter is weird, and I have to dex his SP SP1 properly, which I'm not the best at, but I can do it pretty consistently. I'm pretty sure I never miss Dex it in this fight, but sometimes I do mess it up. Like I said, that heavy spacing is weird sometimes, like you saw there. It was, um, I got hit by it, but I'm running an indestructible boost just in case, so it wasn't that big a deal. Uh, one thing you do want to do with Nova is run indestructible boosts because sometimes he can play really passive and just use his mediums to power gain himself to SP3. And also, just his special attacks are sometimes hard to Dex. So it is definitely worth using an indestructible boost like I am here. Uh, we, null we get nullified and trigger buffet sometimes, but it's never that big a deal because if the buffet catches her unblockable, it comes right back in like half a second. And then even if it just eats dex, well, uh, we're neutralizing the regen that would come with it. So it's not really a big deal. We're going to bait another heavy attack, or try to bait another heavy attack at least, and get to one more SP2. He does have that thing where if I'm unblockable, then he takes 70% less damage, but I'm not unblockable all the time, and when I'm not, we definitely hit extremely hard, so. Pretty clean fight. That indestructible boost definitely saved me a lot of health, but it's also my last Tigra fight, so it doesn't even matter too much anyway. So, my last fight, I was supposed to take two more kitty fights, but someone else took a Baron Zemo on node 41 that I was excited to take. It's okay. Uh, it was assigned to me and him, so it was his fair right to take it. It's just, I wish I could have had it, but it's not that big a deal, so. We're going to take this bishop here on node 48, and this bishop has conflictor. Not, wait, is it conflictor? I think it might be conflictor. And also prowess puncture. That, that, yeah, that's prowess puncture for you. I just lost so much health by blocking that SP1. 
I thought it wouldn't do as much damage as it, as it did, and I could just use my special, uh, um, uh, just not try to phase it so I could keep prowess, but uh, I definitely needed to needed to phase it because and yeah, I was a little slow on that. I I don't know what happened, but it's okay. He didn't punish us at least, and I'm running an indestructible boost, so if he did, we'd still be okay. And <laughs> there goes the indestructible boost. I played this fight so bad, but you know, Kitty made it go really well. I had the Wags pre-fight too, which made it a lot better, and. Um, yeah, I just didn't play this fight good, and but it's okay because, you know, we're getting close and I just need to get to this SP2 and it's going to do the job. And um, we throw it, it does so much damage because Kitty versus Bishop is one of my favorite matches in the game, I just didn't play it well there. Because when you get incinerated, you get temperature instead of actually taking damage, and it's pretty great. So that's my war number five. I would have had six fights, but I just had those five fights. It's fine. We won the war by a lot, so it didn't even matter. And um, yeah, that is my war number six. And we are now six and oh. oh we have not lost a war yet this season, which is incredible. It's It feels so good to uh, know that my team is this successful, so... Anyway, thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the fights, and have a good one.